Hello to everybody out there in Periscope land. This is Brother Ed. I'd like to welcome you to KJV Bible Scope. And uh, I'm going to make this my last finale. Um, we were covering our final point in the Romans Overview series on our, on our topic dealing with genocide. Okay, we're on a Scope 98 finale. And we're going to go ahead and do this. Okay, we're going to finish this thing off. Now, let's go ahead and do this. Now, let's start at Matthew 10.1. And when he, when he had called unto him his 12 disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirits, excuse me, to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness, all manner of disease. Now, the names of the 12 apostles are these, the first Simon, who is called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother. Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew, and the publican, James the son of Alphaeus, and Lebius, whose surname was Thaddeus, the Canaanite. Now watch this. Simon, you see that? Simon, the Canaanite. You know, Simon is from that group of people in the Old Testament that, would, that was cursed. They was, he was cursed. He's from a people that was cursed. And he was to be a servant of his brethren. And here we have Simon the Canaanite as an apostle. How about that? Do you know what God can do with a wicked sinner that's cursed and, and lost and undone? You know, what, you know what God can do with a servant of sin, a servant of servants, a servant of Satan? You know what God can do with a sinner like me and a sinner like you? He can take somebody that he declared to be destroyed, to be a curse, and he can take that life and he can change that life if you would trust and believe on Jesus Christ. He is willing to forgive every sin you've ever committed, no matter how bad you think your sins are, no matter how filthy you think your mind is, Jesus Christ is willing to forgive you. He is offering you forgiveness of sins, eternal life, and reconciliation to God. How could you say no to Jesus Christ? But you know what? Even though Canaan tried to be a snare to Israel all throughout the Old Testament, even though I lived my life in sin all in the past, even though I did things that were so ungodly, as Canaan was attacking God's chosen people, the nation of Israel, all throughout the Old Testament. We are as guilty as Canaan. We're as guilty as they are. We look to Canaan and say, wow, these guys, they should have been destroyed. Wow, these guys were a bunch of idol worshipers. Wow, these guys, they, don't, they didn't deserve to live. And you can't see yourself in there. You can't see yourself in, inside the, 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 the idea of Canaan. We're, guys, all of us are in Canaan. We were at Canaan at one time. And you know what? God had grace on Canaan. And now you go to Matthew 10, 4, and you can read about Simon the Canaanite. He should have been utterly destroyed. He should have been wiped off the planet. Simon should have never been born, but Simon is born, and Simon is a Canaanite, and God saved his soul. Isn't that great? Somebody that started off with a curse ended up with a blessing. We started off with a curse as lost people, lost and undone. We were cursed to die in our sins, and God shed his grace on sinners like me and like you. Oh, that we could get to the place that we understand the mercy of God. We're no better than Canaan. We should have been wiped off the planet. But God has got grace and God has got mercy. All right, guys. I just wanted to close with that here late at night. Um, I hope that it's been a blessing to you learning about genocide in the Bible. God took some a nation that was supposed to be totally wiped out 
and somebody got saved from that nation. I don't see the hatred of God there. I don't see God as a, as a, uh, a maniacal genocidal maniac. I see God as a God of mercy, as a God of grace, as a God of justice. Oh, if we would, we could come out of our false beliefs and our, and our, and our world, worldly mind and just go to God in truth and believe what he's done for us through Jesus Christ. Thank you guys again for joining me, KJV Bible Scope. I know it's kind of late here at night, uh, but I definitely wanted to get through the genocide. I, I, I missed the whole week because I was sick. And so I thank you guys for joining me on this Bible Scope. Uh, may the Lord richly bless you guys. Y'all have a great and wonderful evening.